It's Babineau Creek this morning. One of my absolute favorite places in the entire state of Oklahoma to do some bass fishing. We got my stepdad Dan over there. Got the bro-in-law, Joshua, J-Dub. We got me, myself. We got the two kayaks, the eight footer. And we're just gonna go out and try to catch some fish today and have a good time. So yeah, stay tuned and we'll see y'all down Creek here in a little bit. So I'm walking back, I just parked the truck and within less than, this is why we come here. This is this is 100% why we come to this creek. Look at that. Good looking fish. Good old spotted bass. Good looking fish. Dude, that's a healthy fish. Yeah. That's exactly why we come to Spavinaw Creek. We'll see y'all down creek. First fish of the day, baby. That's why we come to Spavinaw Creek right here. Watermelon red. Look at that fish. Dude, that is gorgeous. It's probably three and a half. Look at that tail missing. Oh my gosh. Zeroed out. All right, Josh came over here and brought me the scale since mine is out of service. So we're gonna weigh this big, this big bass here and see what it weighs. You were not playing. All right, we got it zeroed out. There we go. Let's hook it on this big bass. I called it three and a half pounder. Three, three, six, three, six. Gorgeous bass, dude. Got some stuff wrong with it, but like that tail and. Oh, freaking hog, boy. This is why I wake up early to come do this. Hey, how's that trolling motor treating you? No paddling. Uh, maybe I'll get down creek and they run out. Who knows? <laughs> Got it, he ate it when I reeled it in. I told y'all there was bait fish jumping. Bait fish. Spotted bass. Number two for the day. If I can get it out. Oh wow, my hook just broke off too. Really? 
Yeah, it's a good thing this was my last one. Look at that. Broke off the three aught. Good old spotted bass, Babinaw Creek. Good one? Good one. Josh got him a good one. I might be closer to three. Gorgeous fish. Good job, bud. Yeah, it's on the back of the kayak. There we go. Dan's got his first one. Is it a good one? Chunky. I got a couple. Sweet. All right guys, so it's about 9.30. I've caught a total of two bass, several perch. We've all caught several perch. Dan caught a nice bass. Uh, earlier this morning and then Josh also caught a nice bass so we're keeping on moving down the creek and we're about to get into some of these back holes I think we're gonna get a hold of some more nice fish so stay tuned it's gonna be a ride Spavinaw Creek love it Josh has caught his third fish today this is the biggest one of the day <laughs> It looks flooded up right here, like I can go this way. You going? Yeah. I don't know if those are bass or drum, but they're freaking big. Oh my god. Freaking giants. We got the catch of the day right here. Golly, that's a rebel a, crawdad crankbait. That's a big one. Crikey, jeez. We gonna win that tournament today, boys. Oh, he was running with it. I didn't even know I had it. Oh, that's a better spot. And another one. So I had the camera shut off, but oh my God, look at this fish. That's a four pounder. Oh my freaking goodness, dude. That is nuts. Dude, in your four pound. It's, it's basically Whoa, four pounds. Toe. Got the biggest catch of the day right here. A freaking four pounder annihilated my jig while my camera was off. Uh, we were actually paddling back and I kind of stopped. The guys are out ahead. I kind of stopped through the jig, been throwing it for the last hour. A freaking giant bass, a giant creek bass at that. This is a Spavinaw Creek bass.
freaking awesome. Awesome. Awesome.